Hey guys, it's me, Avery, and recently I got my uh, rook done right here. And it was a pretty spontaneous decision, but I did do some research before I got it done. Some people were like, it's so painful, and then other people were like, eh, it's nothing. So I'm gonna have to go with it's uh, so painful, because it was. Um, so when I went to the shop, the studio, I made sure it was a pretty credible studio. I checked the reviews, I checked online, and made sure they had some pretty good reviews, made sure they used uh, needles instead of guns, because no way in hell anybody's coming up to my ear with a gun. Um, yeah, so the needle part wasn't too bad, but when I, it was like pretty fast, it was like over with. It didn't hurt any more than any other piercing that I've gotten. But when I went home, it was so sore like it I've never felt a pain like that before like if I move my hair on this side all of a sudden this like radiating pain like on this side of my face and it felt like really just sore and like bruised it was really bad um and like oh my gosh it was just really painful so I just took two ibuprofens and like I don't know for a couple days actually like I think Pretty much like the rest of my beach trip, I was just like taking ibuprofens because of how sore it was. But it ended up got dialing down, like it wasn't too sore by the time I left the beach. Oh, and I'm sorry, I didn't like explain. I got this done a week ago, like less than a week ago. So for about three days, it was like in agony, like in pain. But now it's like dialed down. I've been able to like touch it without it like hurting too bad. I mean, not touch it, but like touch my ear, you know, like around my ear without it like hurting but I've noticed like sometimes if I do certain facial expressions it'll start to hurt um yeah so like it's definitely pretty painful like it really feels bruised like sore um you're not supposed to sleep on that side which I haven't been but sometimes like I'll find myself like on that side so I just like quickly just switch over uh I use sea salt soaks to clean all my piercings so that's just what I did with, do with my rook too um, yeah, so if you guys have seen like my past videos, I've had a lot of bad luck with piercings, so I'm hoping this piercing is going to go kind of smooth, but cartilage has been kind of unlucky for me. Um, what else? Okay, so like, you really just like need to just like take care of it, be patient, because the healing process is going to take a while. Um, yeah, definitely a pretty painful piercing for me, but some people are just like, it's so easy, like, I don't know what you're talking about, but like, for me, it was just pretty difficult. I've filmed this video so many times, because of my dog, so I feel like I'm missing so much information right now, but it's a pretty, like, dope piercing. Like, I love the area, I love the space, it doesn't get in the way, like, I wear glasses, and like it doesn't hurt because it's like so in your ear like I can like it's just so in your ear like nothing really gets in the way it's like out of the way and I don't know it's a really nice piercing place it's really cool looking um yeah so I've had it for about a week it's feeling better already but definitely pretty painful the first few days um just take care of it you know that's all I can say. And hopefully I have good luck with it. And if you guys are looking into it, I'd say go for it. But, you know, take care of it. Be patient with it. It's cartilage. It's going to take a while to heal. Um, I was just about to say something super important and I forgot. Oh, yeah. So um, some people say this piercing actually helps with migraines. And I found that pretty interesting, but... I don't know if that's true because I'm kind of getting a migraine because I've filmed this so many times and now my head's starting to hurt. But we'll see. Um, yeah, so definitely look into this piercing. Do your research. I think my glasses are crooked. Do your research. And yeah. Hey guys, it's me, Avery. And I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how I clean my rook and other piercings as well. Um, everybody cleans it a little bit differently, I've noticed. Like, there's always controversy, always people, like, commenting on how other people clean their piercings. And, yeah. So, I'm just going to show you guys how I clean my piercings. And, hopefully, I mean, like, I do it in, the, like, the 
best, most efficient, safe way that I can. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys. This dog has been barking nonstop. That's my dog, Cookie. Okay. She was gonna be with us in the kitchen while I clean my face. So what I have here is a measuring cup, salt, sea salt, which is, I use this one, which is the all natural sea salt, none of it does. And then I'm using this like tall shot glass. I don't know what that is, but. So what I do first is I'm just gonna put sink water or just like water in the microwave. Uh, people are specific with water, but like I'm not that specific with water. Oops, I haven't had any like problems that I know of. And I'm gonna put like a cup almost, a little less than a cup of water and just stick it in the microwave until it's warm, but not boiling, just warm. So I got my hot water right here, and I got my sea salt here. Um, I decided to take out a measuring thing, even though I don't use these anymore, or like really rarely, unless I have like an infection. Usually I just estimate how much salt to put in. Even though some people are like, don't do that, don't do that, you know. So I've got one fourth a teaspoon right here. <laughs> All right, and then I'm just gonna pour Got a teaspoon in. Oops, making a mess. That's about it. Oh, make sure you wash your hands before doing this, you know. Okay, just put that about in there. Take a clean, like, spoon thing. Mix it in. My dog's coming back. Yippee. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just Shove my ear with a rock. It's hot. Um, so some people do use cotton swabs, and some people are like, no, that's bad for your ear. Okay, this is weird that I'm talking like this. Um, I kind of agree that it's like not that good for your ear, but like, or not that good for piercings, but I still use them. Especially, like, I'll just use them, like, whatever. Um, so you want to put your ear in this for like five to 10 minutes, I guess. I don't know. I usually do a little bit less. Um, yeah, but that's how I clean my rook since it's brand new. And then I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how I clean my belly as well since that's been pretty requested. Okay, and then for my belly button, I'm legitimately just doing the same thing. I have the hot water teaspoon. Um, before, yeah, so I got the hot water, the teaspoon of salt. Or the one fourth teaspoon, you know. Okay. Put that in. Um, that's not a lot. That was less. Sorry. I'm just making a mess over here. Um, oh yeah, I cleaned out the cup from my rook piercing. So don't think I'm using the same cup. So before I even do that, I do take a Q tip. Yes, and I try to get like just all the crud. Just like I always get crud around it. Just want to get crud. Get the. Okay. And then what you do is I always have a difficult time doing this. But I just kind of like. And, and I just like let it soak there. And it makes a big mess all the time but I just let it soak there for a little bit, have enough water where I just need to like slightly tilt my body forward. Some people do like the half cup and then like tilt it forward and then back, but like, yeah. And that's it, that's how I clean my piercings. So thanks for watching guys.